Greetings, my name is Simo Talasranta. I'm the composer, sound designer and writer at Still Running. I'm very excited to talk to you today about our upcoming horror punk action RPG, Morbid the Seven Acolytes. Morbid the Seven Acolytes is the most gruesome take on the isometric Souls-like genre yet. The game is all about Lovecraftian horrors, Cronenbergian gore, and exploring an immersive fantasy world of gothic steampunk aesthetics, abundant with deep and tragic lore. In Morbid, you get to play as the last surviving Striver of Dibram, a young but fierce underdog trained in both melee and ranged combat. Your duty is to defeat the Seven Acolytes, accursed and powerful beings possessed by the malevolent deities called Gahars who've taken over the kingdom. Here we see one of the Acolytes, Lorne the Blind. Once a great leader of the proud sailors of Solia, Lorne fell for the Gahars who removed his eyes and imprisoned him in the caverns of solitude. Bitter and angry, Lorne vowed to take the eyes of any traveler who by chance or purpose would ever cross his domain. One of the most impactful features of the game are the blessings of Magrathias, which allow the player to level up and customize the skill set of their character in countless different ways. As the amount of available blessings, slots and skill points increase over the game, your options to develop your character branch out exponentially. You could become an expert in ranged combat, specialize in certain melee weapon groups, build a tanky bruiser, a sneaky assassin, an agile acrobat, or go absolutely nuts with your build and try something completely different, all in accordance to your preferred playstyle of course. The land of Mornia is both vast and diverse. Rummaging through every nook and cranny of the world might take time, but rest assured, you will be rewarded. Some of the best loot in the game lies off-road or can only be earned through beating the many optional bosses and side quests of the game. Early on in development, we knew that the boss fights will be a central feature in Morbid. Therefore, a lot of blood, sweat and tears, and hair, I might add, have been shed to make them as awesome as possible. Here we see Lady Tristana, Mother Grief, a controversial character who uses her own placenta as a weapon. We really wanted to do something unforgettable with the Acolytes, and thus each new boss fight aims to bring something fresh and exciting to the table, upping the ante both conceptually and gameplay-wise till the very end of the game. It's also worth mentioning that all the Acolytes have their own epic tracks on the fully orchestrated soundtrack of Morbid, so be sure to keep an ear out for them. We will also have a dialogue system in the game, which further enables us to bring Mornia alive, as the player can interact with the many interesting characters of the world, but more on that on a later date. Because another important feature we'd like to present to you today is the sanity meter, the blue bar on the left side of the screen there. Sanity has both thematically and mechanically a large role in the game as the player has to manage her mental health whilst facing the abysmal horrors of the accursed kingdom of Mornia. Losing your sanity to the many mind-draining monsters of the world naturally has some pretty nasty side effects. However, you can work the deranged state of your character to your advantage if you're skilled enough. Morbid the Seven Acolytes is no walk in the park. Challenging foes, mini-bosses and large-scale boss fights are central features of the game. To overcome these obstacles you must master the combat and the mechanics of the game, as well as improve your character and gear through various RPG elements such as quests, perks, runes, upgrades and of course, looting. We are very excited to be bringing Morbid the Seven Acolytes to Nintendo Switch, PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One later this year. So stay tuned and follow us on social media to join us in taking the final steps of the development and to be among the first to know the official release date of Morbid the Seven Acolytes. That's all for now. Thank you so much for your time. Magrathias bless you.